God bless you, everyone, and welcome to our Tuesday devotional. We're going to be reading from the book of John, again, chapter 12, verse 20 through 36. So this is a larger portion of, of, of text that uh, we've gone through over the last couple of days. And so this one is titled, The Son of Man Must Be Lifted Up. And again, this is from the book of John, chapter 12, verses 20 through 36. And it says this, Now amongst those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was one from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered him, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is th for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice from, from heaven came, and it said, I have glorified it. I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was going to have. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah reigns forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus said this, he departed and hid from them. We are in a season that feels like darkness is all around us. And part of that is because of the isolation, the self-quarantine that we're in. There's the the media all over. All, all platforms of content are talking about the self-quarantine. You're getting hourly updates on what the coronavirus is doing, on how many people are sick, how many how many tests are being done, how many people have died. This is a, a worldwide pandemic that is going on. And it's everywhere. Literally, it is everywhere in your face. And this begins to build this sense of doom, this sense of darkness, the sense like this is the end, and it's only going to get worse, and it's never going to get any better, and, and we just need to buckle up and get ready to lay down. But we serve a God of light. We serve a God of hope and of peace and of love. And this is a time where we as the church, where we as the people need to be pressing in, moving away from the noise and saying, Lord, what is it that you have for me? Lord, what is it that you have? Because I want to hear your voice. I want to know your ways. I want to be shown how to pray. I want to be shown how to fast. I want to be shown, Lord God, how to speak life and live life. So in this season, don't look at this as a season of darkness. This is a season where the Lord is speaking, where the Holy Spirit is moving, and we have an opportunity to spread hope. We have an opportunity to be the light into people's world. So today, take an extra measure to be the light, to post positive content, to share the good things about what's going on in your life. Talk with you guys later.